This video is about how to take your pH data over time and turn it into a graph and have Microsoft Excel do some math for you. So I've got my bunch of information about the um, beans and water and grind time and temperature that I use. And then I'm gonna come down here and I've got my time uh, and I should have minutes there so that I know what my units are. pH has no units. So I don't need any units for that. Heartbreaking, I know, but we'll have to deal with that in therapy. I will. So, but uh, before I do the, so th we have to, to make two graphs for this. We have to make a graph of pH versus time. And we have to make a graph of concentration of H plus. Uh, and this does have units. I'll put those in parentheses. Uh, molarity. Good. I didn't spell that right. Now, um, what we've said is that the molarity equals 10 to the minus pH. And so we can program that in. I'm going to go ahead and hit the equal sign. Equals tells Excel that we are doing math. And then I'm going to hit the uh, 10 to the, so I'm going to hit 10. And then I'm going to hit caret. And then I'm going to hit uh, minus. And then I'm going to click over here on the pH. And the cell position will appear right there. I will close the parenthesis, and lo and behold, the molarity to weigh uh, to so many digits appears in that box. Now, as if, and that is the same number we've gotten before. Now, as if that wasn't enough, if I click and drag, all of them appear here, right? So I clicked on this one. And then I went over this lower right-hand corner, watch the cursor change from a white plus into a black plus, click and drag. Those are all of my molarities. And you can see this one down here is 10 to the uh, raised to the power of B19, which is the one right next to it. Not so bad. Um, and if you're looking for a way that was different than your calculator, you could actually then do equal sign and then do log. You can see that the log function appears. Open a parenthesis, click right on the cell. You can see the marching ants and the color change. C8 is the cell, it is blue, so is the cell here. Close the parenthesis and I get my pH back. So, and I did forget that this is the negative log. So I'll put my minus sign in there. And so this is how you program in the negative log part to go from uh, concentration of H plus to pH. So this is my pH again. And another way to duplicate things if you have a list right next to it is you double click. And double clicking does all of them as well. You can double click on that little lower right hand corner you can click and drag. Well, we have more information than we need here. We don't need these pHs, so I'm gonna go up to clear and all. And now I have the information that I want for my graph. So I need to do a graph of time versus pH. So I want my pH to be on my Y axis. So that's good that it's on the right. I'm going to go up here to insert chart and do an XY scatter of just points. I will allow you to make this into a nice graph by putting a proper title, proper axes titles on as well with units. Graph looks very nice. I'll set it over here for a second. And now I wanna do a graph of time versus concentration of H plus in units of molarity. There are a number of ways to do it, but the way that I like to do it is I like to click and drag over all the data Insert my chart. And now I have two sets of data. And you can see, because I've, I've got my chart highlighted here, that there are two sets of data, two Ys, and just the purple is the one set of X values. And this blue set of data is the data that I've already graphed for pH on the other graph. So I'm gonna click on this and just hit the delete button. And now I have um, 
my chain, my just my concentration of H plus. It appears as the title, although you will put a better title. Uh, you will make the graph look pretty. Ooh, this has this down here, whereas this is really my Y axis, which is fine. And in fact, if you look at this, while you can see that the pH is the slope of this line for pH, which really that's what you're calculating. When you calculate between uh, 10 and uh, zero minutes, you're calculating the slopes of these lines. You're gonna do this point right here and that point right there. Let's move it over. Is the 10 minute point. You're gonna do minus the one minute point and you're gonna see that there is a change in the slope or that you're gonna calculate the slope. The slope is if you drew a line between these two points, it's rise, which is the Y over run. That's your rate. Anyway, that's how you make the two graphs. I've shown you uh, in the how to do the points for everything else. Now you've got all your data. So doing your change in concentration, you could put these values. I would not put all the sig figs. I would just round it to uh, uh, sig figs, significant figures, three actual numbers. This one would be uh, 8.71. Let's see, this one here would be 4.90 since the seven rounds up and you'd have 4.90 times 10 to the minus fifth. Don't forget those exponents too. And that's how you do the graphs for this part. Oh. I hit the wrong thing. Stop sharing.